This gated concrete lot looks like a construction site, but might be the final resting place of the earliest U.S. veterans. On August 27, 1776, Americans found themselves under attack in the first major battle after the Declaration of Independence. Robert Furman is a preservationist and has devoted years to studying the Battle of Brooklyn. The British intended to capture the entire Continental Army, hopefully including George Washington. Uh, the fact that they weren't able to is very important. It would have been over. That's because a group known as the Maryland 400 held off the British, providing an escape route for Washington and his men. Robert says there were more than 400 soldiers, but still outnumbered by the Redcoats. They had about 35,000 soldiers and sailors. The Americans had less than half that, and most of them were not very experienced, so it was very one-sided. The city now owns the property and plans to build a preschool. These photos taken by a local resident show recent digging to see if the site contains the remains of nearly 250 soldiers. This whole area, when I, and when I say that, I mean in about a mile around here, is all affected by the Battle of Brooklyn, and it's all significant. And within that mile radius is St. Thomas Aquinas Church, located just one block away from the potential burial site. Next door to the vacant lot is the local American Legion post, where plaques honor the Maryland 400. If archaeologists discover remains underneath, the land could become a permanent memorial. Brooklynites hope it becomes a park or cemetery. I'm an educator. Sure, it'd be great to have a preschool, but not if it's where American veterans are resting. That's not appropriate. There should only be something there that honors them. It'd be disappointing if, if it's not the burial trenches. Reading about Bob Furman and all the work he's done, you're kind of hoping that he's right. Archaeologists are expected to release a report in September, proving if the site is in fact a burial ground. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.